talk a little bit more about rock clubs and the somewhat insidious nature of booking bands and uh, laying expectations on them that are just completely unrealistic. Yeah, I'd like to play on Thursday um, at your club. Uh, you have anything between like 8 or 9 o'clock or whatever it may be? That'd be good. What? Huh? How many people am I going to bring? I, I don't know how many people I'm going to bring. I don't know. Let me get out my crystal ball. I don't... How am I supposed to know how many people I'm going to bring? When a club asks you how many people you're going to bring, your answer is, I don't know. And your next question should be, how much am I getting paid? I need a guarantee. Now, this is the thing. It has to be done collectively. It has to be done collectively. It has to be done collectively. Any band that books themselves, if there's no guarantee, I'm sorry I can't play your club. You all know out there, dealing with the door deals, if 500 people show up, then you get 50% uh, of that door, and then we take the, but if more than that, then you get 75% show up, and if some of them have blue hair, and they're wearing polka dotted bras, and they're going commando, I, what? What's my guarantee? That's what I wanna know. You're working, you get paid. Their overhead is their overhead. Your overhead is your overhead. Make sure yours is covered because they're surely making sure theirs is and then some. They're in the business of making sure the bar makes money. They shouldn't be dipping into your pocket to make sure that they supplement their bar. It's their job to promote their place. Let them do the work that they need to do because they haven't been for so long, too long. You haven't, clubs. Uh, and also, instead of laying it on the bands to do all of the promo work, why don't you put bands on as opening acts? Let's just say really go back in history. Go Wikipedia, the Marquee Club. How many bands came out of that that were initially unknown bands that opened up for big acts then, who ultimately, the opening bands, became icons? <laughs> I mean, all of these great bands and, and artists played there, and they were not, they were nobody at first, and then they became somebody because they were given a chance to build a following. And that's what's important. Go see live music. Go see live music. Because really, some of your greatest memories have to do with going to see a concert or a band or, or the band you love. And if you say you're going to show up, come on, folks. If you say you're going to show up for a band, like they put out on Invite or whatever it might be on Facebook, wherever it may be, and you say you click, yes, I will be there, then be there. Show up. Go out and see live music before live music is like almost gone from Manhattan. And any other city, live music is what started everything. And there's nothing more exciting than a live show. Product, bands, stop giving your shit away for free. No more free songs. No more free songs. Put it on a CD, on an LP. Make a collection so that people can listen all the way through. Make sure that people buy your record. Make sure that people buy your record. Make sure that people buy your record. Don't you want them to hear the whole thing? Don't you want there to be continuity? It has to be done collectively. It has to be done collectively. It has to be done. So, any band that books themselves, the first question should be, What's the guarantee? If there's no guarantee, I'm sorry I can't play your club. I may get banned from clubs for this because of this. I don't care. I've been banned before. Anybody that bans me from their club would have been a club I wouldn't want to play for anyway. What was the Harpo Marx quote? I wouldn't be a part of any club that would have me as a member. Make this a collective effort. Make this a collective effort. Make this a collective effort. If it doesn't happen that way, then it's just going to be peace, 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 and fall back into the same old thing. Do it. Do it. Let's out of sight from our soul. A sort of rarity